job with that. <laughs> Great way to start the morning. Today, on this special episode, we are featuring Leonardo, Chef Leonardo, and some of his recipes. Crostini con i figatini, crostini with chicken liver is a typical recipe from Florence and Tuscan as well, but uh, we do better in Florence. This is actually one of my very favorite things that Leonardo makes. Without further ado, take it away, Leonardo. We love chopped chicken liver and this version is ridiculous. This is a little bit different than the chopped chicken liver, the traditional Jewish chopped chicken liver. So I encourage you to try this recipe and bring it to Passover. Okay, happy Passover. And uh, why is chicken liver a Passover So Michael would like to know why chicken liver is a Passover dish. And to be perfectly honest, I have no idea. And I don't know if there are Jews out there that could tell you. The one thing about Passover that you should know if you're not Jewish is during Passover, we eat nothing that's leavened. That's sort of a quick history of Passover. And if you guys know why we eat chicken liver on Passover, just write it below and I'll read it. What's a sofrito? Sofrito is the, the base of a sauce. Uh, there are uh, three different kinds of sofrito. Sofrito with uh, garlic, sofrito with onions, or sofrito with uh, mirepoix, that is uh, celery, onions, and uh, carrots. Right, so this is sort of a, a base. Si. And we will argue that the French got all of their cooking from Italians. So this was something Italians brought to the kings of France. And si. then the French said, oh, it's, we're going to call it a mirepoix. And I stand by that. I stand by that theory. So explain to us what you're doing, because that's what Michael's going to say. We are cutting the, the onions. I think he's crying from the onions. Si, exactly. It's OK. Oh, no. You <laughs> are crying. See, si, I am. So can you tell us a little bit about the quantities here? Yeah? It's about uh, the, mm, the. He's not big on quantities. Uh, no, uh, actually is. Um, so it was probably the equivalent to three medium onions. This was five small onions that went into See, this. three onions for. He's uh, crying too, so I'll uh, talk. Blah, blah, blah. Madonna. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Great way to start the morning. Um, so he's got two gar two cloves of garlic, and the, the recipe will be below. I'll get it out of him once he stops crying. And then we have about a pound and a half of the chicken livers, and we've got olive oil and wine that we're going to put in it. And what herbs do we do with this? What are the herbs? Sage and rosemary. We, we... I'm learning this dish because whenever he makes it, well, either I'm busy, you know, I'm working or hanging with clients or whatever, it, or Sometimes he doesn't want me to know what he's doing. So this is, <laughs> so this is my super secret way of getting him to show and, me his recipe. And this is a super secret recipe. It is a, oh wow, so everybody out there, it's a super secret recipe. I'm really happy that you're sharing this with us. So you're gonna cook these down slowly, right? Slowly, yeah. Because you want them to caramelize Same. and get a caramely flavor. Same. So now we just have to wait till those saute off. Same. Oh, let's see how we clean the livers. So these are chicken livers and um, hearts. And, uh, so you do chicken liver and hearts. See, this it depends like about the, the, the area, actually. So there's also chicken hearts in the chicken liver pate that you're making. And so tell us what you're doing here. We just remove the fat uh, from okay. the, the heart is more fatty, the livers less. Uh, with a scissor is the best, uh, is the faster, the easiest. Mm -hmm. And we wash it with some uh, hot water. Now this is not appetizing looking. I'm just going to point that out that, you know, it's boiled liver, not, you know. But the outcome is so good. The other interesting thing about this chicken liver dish is that this is actually served warm Chicken liver is sort of like a pate that's that's either room temperature or cooler. And here they serve it warm on crostini. Why do you pour the hot water over it? I'm just interested. To remind, to take off part of the, the blood. To take off part of the what? Blood. The Sound. blood. Blood. <laughs> blood. 
the blue. To clean. See, okay. it's like blanching. It is like blanching. Okay. See, but I personally, if you blanch it before, after it's uh, quite hard to make it um, caramelize it. To oh, caramelize. really? See. So this helps with the caramelization. See, 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 oh, okay. See. So that's interesting. Great. That's my way to do. I I think it's so cool. I mean, this whole recipe is like my bananas. Is there something happening here? See, we have to go. Let's go. So we saute the, the onions very slowly. Then we put the, the high fire. High fire? Uh, high fire. What type of liver is this? It's a chicken. Oh, that's right, it's chicken. Liver. Chicken liver. Oh yeah, the hint is in the recipe. <laughs> More coffee! <laughs> but you can make pate out of goose and duck and, right? Si. I mean, this is essentially a pate. Si. Yeah, it's a pate. Not pate, pate. So when the livers are uh, caramelized, we add the herbs and a glass of uh, white wine. When the wine is uh, evaporated, we add some uh, uh, chicken broth or water and we cook for about half an hour. Is that really chicken broth? No, it's a beef broth. Okay. He's telling you chicken broth, but yet he's pouring beef broth into it. So just so that we're clear, I give up. I surrender! <sighs> Use your new food processor. Yes. We add two tablespoons of uh, butter, one teaspoon of uh, anchovy pa 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 Oh, it's anchovy paste. I thought it was tomato paste. Mm. And capers. Okay. And a little bit of broth. What kind of broth? Chicken broth. <laughs> So there it is. Not the most beautiful thing. You know, when you're a stylist and you know, you're presenting things, you definitely, when it's a brown dish, it's really hard. I mean, they bring you like this brown dish, like chili and stuff like that. So, you know, we would always kind of lighten it up with a few things just to make it not so horrifyingly brown. But this is, smells really good. <laughs> so we let this cool a bit and then we're going to put it on some crostinis and we're going to show you what uh, the end product looks like. Right, Leo? So in Florence uh, we use uh, old bread. Uh, very Florentine and very Italian to use. Like they're very good at upcycling like older food. You can toast it uh, in the oven or in a pan. Oh, that looks so pretty. See, Leo. that's nice. So this is how you would serve it. Usually Leo does this for aperitivo. He'll put it like out on a platter for us, but they serve it warm, which I just think is so interesting. I let it cool a little bit. I mean, you don't want it hot, hot, blowy hot, but you do want it warm. Same. Okay, that's it. That's our dish. Breakfast of champions. I don't know if I can do this this morning. <laughs> Let's go. Should we taste it? No, no, no. Okay, ready? Chin -chin. Cheers! Mm. Wow. Mm. Garlicky deliciousness, oniony deliciousness, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, you got a little bit of the wine, yeah. a little acidity the, the in there. Anchovies. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. It's a great recipe. Damn. I didn't even know it had anchovies in it. So good. Mm. Well, well done, huh? you. All right. So that's cooking with Leo. Thanks for joining us. And um, if you like my channel, please subscribe and eat them. Please, <laughs> mouthful. Like, like and subscribe. Tell them like and subscribe. Sub, sub, blah, blah, blah. All right, go. Bye.
Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you later. Ciao. Ciao. Thank you, Leo.